comes with everything you need. Sam Hamry is here, and he's going to show you how easy you can use that. But I want to start the hour with something that is going to sell out very, very quickly because we're in final quantities of our Smart Energy Solar LED Motion Activated Security Light. Now, I know what you're thinking. You're, you're like, oh, I've always wanted a security light, but I don't want to deal with the wiring, all that stuff. You don't have to deal with that. You put the security light anywhere you want, and then you just put the panel with the extra long cord in the sun somewhere, and it'll turn on every time somebody or something walks in front of it. So you have that security. Uh, I am so excited about this. In fact, I tried to buy this last time, couldn't get through. There were so many people online. I got 200 of them to go around. Corey Bergeron, come right out, buddy, because I know this isn't going to last very long in final quantities on this. Imagine having a security light with none of the work, none of the wiring, none of that problem. Right. Anywhere you want it, in the back door, front door, near your garage. That's the point. You get home late at night, and the lights are on, bro. <laughs> That's yep, right. I love it. it really, it, it's so intuitive, because this is the light that you install, and then you just never think about it again, and it's always there for you. 13 feet on that cord. So put the light wherever you want, under the eave of your house, in the shed, doesn't matter. And then you can run the cord all the way out to the solar panel. Now this solar panel this is no slouchy little solar panel this is huge and why because not only did we want it to be able to absorb the maximum amount of light but we gave you a mono crystalline solar panel there are a couple different kinds of solar panels made mono crystalline is the most expensive to manufacture and the one that gathers the most light and converts it into power so what you're talking about here is being able to get a full charge on this light even on a cloudy day now inside this light are 16 surface mount leds once again surface mount we're talking about the most premium leds that money can buy you're getting 400 lumens of brightness out of this now you see me covering down here at the bottom the little uh, sensor this little sensor here at the bottom, not only does it articulate back and forth, you can, you know, twist it to the side if you want it to sense motion from one direction or another, you know, you just kind of twist it back and forth, but it senses not only light and dark, so that of course your light isn't going to come on until after the sun goes down, but it senses motion as well. So the light will stay off until it senses that something has moved in front of it, and then it'll turn on. Now you can adjust the sensitivity. If, if you don't want it coming on every time the cat runs in front of it, mm -hmm. Now, just turn the sensitivity and it'll look for something bigger. It'll look for more action. If you want it to turn on when a human being walks in front of it, once again, sensitivity adjustment right there. Very, very simple to adjust. You also have a duration knob so that you can determine how long it stays on once it's come on, you know, how long before it goes back off again. So they really have given you everything to adjust it. But ultimately, at the end of the day, what you're getting is super, super mm -hmm. bright light and you're never ever going to think about wiring it, putting in batteries. You can put it all the way out at the back of your property in the shed that's, you know, 100 feet away from the house. Mm -hmm. No extension cords. Don't hire a professional. Just let it do its job. Look at that. And when you walk outside, look, automatically turns on. And think about it. You don't need a dedicated power source. You don't have right. to have any plugs. There's So you can put this in the middle of nowhere, like Corey said. Let, here's a perfect example. Maybe you've got a shed like mine, which is, you know, 100 feet from the house. Yep. I never ran electricity there. You know why? Because it was too dang expensive to run electricity to it. You're gonna but I always wish the extension right, cord. <laughs> exactly. But I always wished I had. Yeah, I'm gonna dig trenches. Never happened in my world. Uh, but there's another example, like near a garage. Uh, you, your your wife gets in late at night. You're looking for the keys. H how about putting it right out in front of your house? So you got a spotlight. As soon as you get in, you can open the door. You can see where you're going. Of course. Here's the thing. Okay, it's gonna sell out. It's just a matter of whether it's gonna sell out in an hour or three minutes from now. It's, it's that busy already. I got, a hundred, what I got, Paul, 190, 180, 170 like that left. All you need to do is mount this somewhere. We give you the mounting hardware, and then there's a reason it's so bright. We're going to turn the lights down, as what Corey was alluding to. Look at this jacked up pa uh, solar panel. It's huge. This is, it's, the, it's bigger than the dang light. That's how big the solar panel is. So this harnesses a ton of energy from the sun. Also love the fact you got no energy costs with this. You never pay a penny for it. Let right. the sun pay the bill. That's it. Right? That's it. And it's it's the most premium solar panel that you can buy at any price. It's going to charge this up even on a cloudy day. Now, I'd like to bring the lights down to the studio. I want to show you exactly how the light works. Guy, if you'll just take a step back for me because sure, it senses motion. Yep. So we want to get it really dark in here. And then I'm just going to pass my hand in front. Actually, it's on, I got it's this on far. And that was it. Yeah. You know, it came on right away. But 
but you see it's motion sensitive, it's light sensitive. Now this is 400 lumens. I don't know, here I'm gonna pass my hand in front of it again, there. I have the duration set really short so you can see it coming on and off. You can see all of the light it's Look giving us here on this table. That's it is super, super yeah. bright. And this will stay on until the motion stops. Now when the motion stops, it'll wait until you know it's reached the end of the duration that I have it set at, and then it'll automatically turn off until it senses motion again. Mm -hmm. This is what you're gonna use. You know where I use it? I use it next to my trash cans. Here we go. Yeah, Pass my watch. hand in front of it. On it there comes. There you go. We came back. Absolutely. Yeah, that's a good idea. You know, you get you have raccoons or skunks or things right, like that. At night, right? Right. Chase them away. We yeah. actually have a woman. She called us last time. Testimonial call. Mm -hmm. She had raccoons that would go up on her roof and chew at the pipe fittings that oh were on gosh. her roof. Wow. Right? They chew them up. Yeah. And uh, she put one of these up on her chimney. And then every single time the raccoons got up on a roof, boom, they just scatter oh, yeah. because they don't like light. Well, and, and obviously, you know, the boogeyman, bad guys out there, you want to, you want to, uh, how about this? Get this for your daughters, sons that are away at college. Maybe they live in an apartment or they live in a college of dorm. Course. Or they live, you know, they're a couple of them living in a house together and you're concerned about that. You know, I love it. And, and no matter where you are, you'll have that light. And of course, light is the universal security. That really it is. Wherever you go. Oh, hey, hey if anybody's nope. up to no good, yeah. they're not sticking around when a light comes on. That's nope. it. You know, turn hey, on the... <laughs> Corey, we're going to put our left counter up there. It's down there right where my kneecap is down there. Yeah, we're going to put our left, left counter just to give you an idea. We, we're so sorry that we don't have more of these to go around, but I think you and, it was, you and I had the last presentation maybe of this. Yes, we did. And it went, most of the quantity went before we could order any more. So we're just, we will bring it back in. It's already a customer pick on hsn.com with perfect, with a perfect reason. I mean, I love stuff that's not too complicated, like, like our paint sprayer that's coming up a little bit sure. later. It's so easy. It's just, it is. you put easy the paint in, you spray paint. It's so simple. It doesn't get clogged, but this is the same kind of a thing. It's like you simply, you screw this in somewhere that's and it. you put the panel somewhere and when you walk in front of it, the light comes on. I mean, it's it's that simple. Yet, you know, I had a, a priced an electrician coming out to put in a motion detector light in the back of my house because I have, I have a uh, that's where the fuse box is and everything out there. Might like, be a right. perfect place for it. Plus, it's a it's a blind area of my property. Mm -hmm. the guy wanted to charge me 350 bucks to do it. I'm like, and, right. and there was already a, there was power up there. He goes. No, but I got to run this certain thing, and then I got and then you got to yeah, pay for right. the light itself. The, and... the light itself was like a hundred bucks. Oh, it was like, ridiculous. So you know what? And, I was like, yeah, never mind. <laughs> well, you you, you know, dark. you at least own your house. What if right. you what if you live in an apartment or a condo? And I'm a guy, or you know, it's not home? like it's my daughter's out there. Right. And I just have me and Dan, and we're. Let me show you this real quick. Right. I'm just going to unplug the solar panel from the light. I'm going to pull it right off its mounting here, so that I can actually show you exactly how it mounts. Do you see that? Take a look right here. This is the mounting plate that it comes with. Three screws. Boom, boom, boom. That's it. Put those three screws in, and then you take the light and you drop it right down on top of that mounting plate, mm -hmm. uh, just like so. There yeah, you go. There you go. Come closer and to you. There comes you right go, down, Corey. and then you just kind of plug in your solar panel like that. And once again, it does have a 13-foot cord on that solar panel, yeah. and the reason.